it is often hard for big government, whether at the federal or the state level, to move quickly on a problem as global as climate change. But that isn't stopping people from doing something a little closer to home. Meteorologist Jason Nappy takes us to one town planning for the future in Maine's changing climate. I mean, I was born and raised in Maine. It's really about the people here that mostly drives my passion. Michelle Radley is a third generation Mainer. She's the town planner for County Bunkport, working with others across the state on the climate initiative, like Karina Grader. We're trying to work with the state and partner with them on specific initiatives, like trying to get heat pumps into homes, and also trying to take what programs the state's working on in terms of like the transportation infrastructure, how can that support what needs to happen here locally? Grader is the sustainability coordinator for the Southern Maine Planning and Development Commission. She's partnering with the Climate Initiative on Kenny Bunkport's Climate Action Plan. Meanwhile, Radley is using her experience from living in Maine to fuel her desire to keep her home the way it should be. It's a very loving and warm community that I've experienced, as well as people who are very passionate about the places that they live. Um, just the, the history behind them, passing them down from family to family, and just just deep ties. So we want to be able to keep some of these particularly coastal communities intact going forward. To do that, Grader says a strategic map is crucial, one that the community and municipal government can take to address climate change issues in the future. Actions like reducing emissions, adapting homes to not rely on fossil fuels, and preparing roads for sea level rise. And it's not just about helping one small town. We're also working with more inland and rural communities like Freiburg and Berwick. And that is what we're trying to figure out now is how can we help those communities. Greater adds there's not a lot of staff in smaller communities to take on this issue. But regional organizations can take lessons learned like in towns like Kenny Bunkport. Then it's just about applying those lessons to other parts of the state more efficiently.